Hello VPP stars, I'm happy to have you here again after a lot of years, six years. Um, my name is René Antrag, um, I'm, a, I'm the sommelier from the restaurant Sterek um, in Vienna. Um, we stay in the Stadtpark, in the center of, of Vienna. And I'm very proud to show you our wine cellar today for this evening. Um, yeah, the restaurant we have a focus more for Austrian wines. Um, 60 to 70 percent of the cellar are Austrian, but for me and my yeah philosophy or for me it's very important to show the guests also wines from the whole world, from very small areas, from small producers with a lot of personality, character, and uh, from traditional areas. Um, the first wine that I show you, it's from a a very small producer. It was a wonderful experience by this winery. It was Richard Leroy. This producer, Richard, produced only two wines. It's from the vintage 2013. It's a Chenin Blanc from Loire Valley, from um, Anjou. And for me, it was the most exciting experience for to visit the cellar. And for me, the philosophy of the winery was very, very personally. And it was exciting to taste all the wines as well although in the aging style because we know only the new new vintage and it's very difficult to get some bottles from this producer from riper vintage we tasted also 2009 and he would just since 2010 all the wines without sulfur for me a wonderful example to show the guests natural wines could be also very very good and for me the drinkability is very high for the next way we go for it's it's, it's a new producer but a a very traditional winery. It's the son of the winery. Um, it's Andreas Nittnaus. Um, he produced 2014 the first vintage. He was also in Loire Valley to, to, to go for the practice in wineries and he, he started by La Grande Jabel in Anjou Samur and he was uh, able to, to go for a new wine. It's called Tochter or the daughter. It's a vintage 2014 Blaufränkisch. It's a very very exciting wine because here in Austria the experts told me 2014 red wine, it's not good, it's horrible, too fresh, too fresh, too high acidity, not ripe. And for me, 2014 red wine, it's to me a very, very exciting vintage because you have drinkability, you have light, fresh style of Blaufränkisch. Uh, it's not the, the big amount of bottles, but for me, the drinkability is very high. And that's for me the important way to go for wines, to drink a bottle and you like to order another one. That's for me reason that I like my job. And for the next way we go for the, the other side, another white wine. And I was, last year I, have a I had a nice trip in Hungary. And here in Austria, the, the Austrian think, oh, Hungarian wines are good, but we are Austria. I can tell this because I'm a German. And we go for a very small producer. It's um, Pomonatia. It's a very, very nice guy from the Tokai area, from Erdubenje, that's more in the mountain range, in the most northeastern part of Tokai. And it's a tri for mint. It's from the very small district Hatari, 2012. It's only a three hectare uh, vineyard and with a very, very less amount of bottles. He produces wines not every vintage, only in the exceptional vintage. And for me, it was a very nice uh, trip to see in Hungary because 1992 starts a new generation of Hungarian wines because the communism was a little bit more tricky you go more for quantity instead of quality but since 92 in the mid of the 90s I think the younger generation comes more and more and brings more um, philosophy for more techniques but also traditional writers back to the roots and for me this will be a wonderful example we have also in Austria um, a very small amount of Formint hectares, uh, mostly in, in Rust, it's a traditional writer there, but the Austrians don't know this anymore. But um, yeah, for me, light, elegant, and with a lot of chamomile, wonderful pairing wine for our kitchen. So I hope you have a nice view about our cellar and you, you can enjoy as well a menu or a dinner here in our restaurant. I hope I see you soon. Thank you very much, you peace stars. See you next time.